Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and cast time once again. Um, then um, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and kind of intro this. Um, I have done these kind of videos before. Um, what this is gonna be is basically a nature hike. Um, the location being uh, Toronto Islands, um, uh, from Toronto Island Ferry to Hamlin's Point Beach, uh, it's a 4K walk in Toronto. But, um, the reason I chose this one here is, uh, earlier I watched a video from one of my favorite channels, uh, Not Just Bikes, and he's basically talking about, I think, um, uh, it's the only car-free place in all of Canada, and, it, and why you can't live there, there's, I think, uh, last I heard him say, or here, I'll, I'll just go ahead, I'll just go ahead and explain more, um, but in these kind of videos, there is going to be next to there's going to be little to no visuals at all. So I might have a couple things here and there that all pop up, but it it won't be it won't be anything that intricate. And um and I started from um it's going to start from where the ferry boat actually lands on the island. I I watched part of it and and for one, it's kind of a it's a bit on the creepy stalker side because this camera guy he's like walking behind other people, which again, it's kind of, kind of feel like a stalker, but it, it, otherwise, it's just, it's just a boring old boat ride from point A to point B, so. Let's go ahead and get that going. Oh, and, um, FYI, or for what it's worth, it's, a, uh, it's 11.30 p.m., I'm, that's when I'm. That's when I'm doing this. Um, one reason why is uh, it just I've just been uh more and more wanting to do these cast videos earlier. But for a video like this, that's gonna have an extremely large file size because of all the animation and stuff going on. And I think this uh, I think it's a uh, 1,080 pixels the the video quality. So like I said, it's really gonna jack up the file size. So it's gonna take a very long time for this video to come out, so better for me to wait. And um, also, what I was trying to say a few moments ago too, that this is gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a combination of a cast video, just talking about my day, and also a commentary video, just commenting on the scenery and the environment and all that. So kind of a two for one. And, uh, parts of this video might be a bit on the loud side, but, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of balance out because there's gonna be a lot of quiet stuff on here as well. Edward Hamlin. Oh, but like I was up, uh, but uh, on the video, as you may or may not expect, um, houses houses are very hard to come by on these islands. I think one, I think maybe one goes on sale like every year, and yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fast forward out of this. He turns away. Okay, but like I said, I'm trying to avoid the, I'm trying to avoid the shots where he's like walking right behind somebody. I've uh, some of these uh, some of these other cast videos I've done, some of the camera people have done just that. It's like you're, it's almost like they're stalking them, so I often have to skip them. I mean, there's a, a few of these are so bad that it's like the camera guy literally stands right in the middle of the sidewalk, like holding a camera out. You can see the uh. You can, like, see the creeped out look on all these people's faces as they're walking by them. So, I try to skip those. Uh, but... But anyway, um... So, start with, uh, yes, today's pinball stream. Um, not as, not as good. 
Um, Pinball FX3, the one I usually start with. Um, actually started out, started out good as always. Um, I think right off the bat it really kicked ass on the El Dorado table. Just really tore up the terrain, really tore up the, really tore up the terrain on that one. I think English is my second language right now. But yeah, did great on that table. Um, did pretty good on all the tournaments I entered. Um, I think there might have, there was something else, I can't remember what. Oh, anyway, but, uh, Pinball, when I switched over to Pinball Arcade, did pretty good on the, on the Twilight Zone table, but after that, I was total ass. Just monstrously sucked, and I got up. There is one thing I need to do here real quick. Just lock me out. So yeah, um, so, but like I said, the, uh, the Notchex bike, the, uh oh, we are frozen. Okay. Um, but, anyway, um, Twilight Zone, a table that I normally don't care for, I actually did pretty good on. Um, I think I broke the top five high score or something that I can't recall me doing in a long time, but, but yeah, after that, the rest of that session, Yes. Just, yeah, just really bad. Um, so bad that um, when I broke off of arcade and played a uh, Zachariah pinball, I actually did better. What's going on? I'm hope. I'm hoping it's not because uh my computer can't handle the uh, video. So anyway, um, but yeah, when I when I played Zachariah Pinball, I mean, for the most part, I did pretty badly. But it's the tables on the tables on there are so it's like they're designed by Rube Goldberg. It's like they almost make no sense at all. It's like you know the bumpers and other parts. Are, it's like they're just thrown on in there and on a whim. So not to mention you have a ball that I swear is like made out of helium. It's like almost no weight to it. So, but but even with all that, I actually did better on Zach than I did on uh, Arcade. That's that's all bad I did. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. But uh, after after I was through with Zach or Zachariah, um, I switched over to another. Uh, it's a uh, it's a pixel art style pinball pinball game called Demon's Tilt. That I that I think I got maybe like a few minutes in there. I'm like, fuck this. And by that time, anyway, it was like it was like five five thirty p.m. and I had to shut down anyway. But even then, oh my god, I don't think I'll be touching that game again. Um, for one, it just the flippers are like real stubby. I mean, almost, it's almost like Zachariah Pinball, where, where all the, a lot of the flippers on there, they're like really stumpy, really short, you can't really do much with them. Demon's Tilt is kind of like that as well. And then, um, and then number two, um, I kind of came to the conclu conclusion that I got the same problem with Demon's Tilt that I, that for the longest time, up until recently, um, I had with any other pinball game input lag So I think one of the which kind of rewinding back a bit one of the reasons why uh, I'm on I'm on such a pinball kick I'm on I've been doing so well is because the um, the controller wire is actually holding up Like the wire still works. I mean a lot of the other oh cool. He's going off-road and This is gonna happen from time to time like Whatever the uh, camera guy is gonna go off somewhere else. If it uh, if it's enough to distract me, yeah, I'm gonna talk about this whole lot. <sighs> oh, excuse me. 
Uh, yeah, it's going off road. And not a car in sight. Great place for a vacation. <laughs> if you want to drive way out, way the hell out to Toronto. But again, um, I think one of the reasons why I've been doing so good on pinball these days is because uh, I'm uh, I'm playing with the controller wire plugged in. It, to to most that might seem innocuous, but um, when you're playing wireless, there's input lag, like um, you know, like the moment you know there's like this split second delay between me hitting the flipper button and the flipper actually flipping. Oh, this is a, uh, well, this is an airport. But uh, if you have the uh, if you have the wire in there, then uh, the the lag doesn't exist. But uh, again, the problems I've been ha the problem I've been having with a lot of these cords is uh, they get to a point where they'll they'll quote unquote disconnect when really something the like something in the wire itself got ripped or got messed up it doesn't doesn't stay jacked in but uh this this wire i've been using now it's holding it up so but again um going back to demon's tilt i think that's the problem i'm having with that with that damn game because the moment you know i'll flip but it's like it it takes a split second to do so it's like you know i want to i want to catch the ball now but instead it's like rolling off the flipper. You know, so... It's that split second delay. So, God damn, I wish I could hike again. And for those that don't know, um, I used to do these nature hikes some odd years ago, but the problem is, is I work a job where I'm already walking at least a mile a day. So I can't do two things at once. I mean, I probably could do like a one mile nature hike, but it just, it feels like a waste. Like I got to. I gotta do like a four or five mile hike. Like I gotta go in all the way. But yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a quick recap. Um, like one of the reasons why I've been doing so good at pinball is, believe it or not, is because uh. I'm playing um I'm playing with a, a wired controller, not wireless. So that helps out a lot. And I kinda learned that lesson when playing a uh, demon still. So uh, but oh well, that's that on that. I swear, this place almost looks like a damn golf course. And it, I want to say it looks like it's, uh... I'm seeing a lot of tire tracks on here, so it looks like they're doing a lot of grass cutting. A lot of lawn mowing. Yeah, that's the mainland. Yeah, that's the mainland. That's uh, that's Toronto. All them uh, skyscraper buildings. Probably might like to know. But yeah, like I said, I'd love to take up hiking again, but it's. I, I don't have the feet for it anymore. I mean, not with the kind of job I've got. But I'm uh, taking another drink.
And then, um, <clears throat> and then one other thing that I, I'm starting to look into, um, I'm not, I'm not ready to go all out or anything, but, um, there's a, there's a feature of Final Fantasy XIV that I had just now realized, um, that it existed was, a uh, PvP. Now, I did, uh, I did play, uh, PvP fairly often, um, back in the day. It just, one of the, one of the real beauties about it is it's, it's, it, it's almost its own game. And, um, and, oh, we're heading to the beaches, okay. And, uh, unlike most other, uh, oh, how'd I go? Unlike most other features, like, uh, un or unlike PvE content, um, PvP, there's basically no gear requirement. I think you have to be at least level 10, I meaning you only had to play the game for a short time. Um, and I think there's a, there's a short series of quests you have to do, and then you're good to go. Oh, damn. Oh, well, that's the only car I've seen, but that's the only car I've seen on, the isle, on this island. But even then, I think it's more of a golf cart than anything. So. But yeah, there's there's no real gear requirement. Um, there's no super long main storyline quest that you have to endure or anything like that. Um, maybe at some point later, but basically... For the most part, you could just jump right on in and play, which is gonna be, which is great for somebody like me because I tried Endwalker, I got through like the early part of the quest, I just couldn't get into it, so I basically wasted money on a new expansion. But oh well. Whereas again with PvP, I think everybody's. Everybody is the same level, the same gear level, and all that. And uh, even the uh, even the move sets are different. And uh, I believe you get your entire move set at the outset. It isn't like PVE content where you don't get such and such move until you're level 20. You get this move at level 30. You get this move at level 50, etc. In PvP, you get everything at once. So. But so yeah, I'm starting. I'm starting to consider doing that now. Um, starting to do. Uh, starting to play more PvP in that game. And then um, another thing too. I don't. Um, it's a game called Persona 4 Ultimax. But um, it's not a. It's not a brand spanking new game that I that I know of. There's a Persona 5. Oh, for those who don't know. Um, Persona, Persona 4 is a 2D fighter, um, made by the same people that made Guilty Gear. Um, some of you guys might have seen me, uh, stream and play that game, uh, Guilty Gear XRD, uh, Rev 2. Um, I also tried playing, uh, uh, Guilty Gear Strive at one point, but my computer couldn't handle it, so, so I was streaming Rev 2 for a while, but... But, uh, Persona 4? Clothing. He's not gonna do what I... Okay, he's turning around. <laughs> that would've been fucking crazy if he decided to go ahead and take his camera and just walk right into the nudie beach. But... In case... In case it wasn't obvious... Clothing optional is basically a nudie beach. I thought he was just gonna take his camera and just walk straight into it. <laughs> God, that would that would be fucked up. <laughs> He's like pointing his camera on girls' boobs and you know putting the camera on their crotches and stuff like that. It's like yeah, but no, he used <laughs> he's gonna turn and walk away. Plus, I'm pretty sure he'd probably get in trouble with YouTube for filming that kind of footage. <laughs> but, 
but anyway, um, Persona 4 was, um, made by the same people who made, uh, Guilty Gear Rev 2, so, um, but, uh, there's, um, I watched a few videos of people trying that game out, um, I think as far as back as, like, a few weeks ago, but, uh, again, it looks, looks like kind of an interesting game, something I wanted to try out, and I actually did look on Steam, but, um, again, it's gonna be, it was one of those where my computer can just barely run it, um, not to mention the, the 30 gig, the, the 30 gigabytes of hard drive space on my computer, that, my, that, uh, the 30 gigs of hard drive space that would be on my computer, I, yeah, um, little, little on the huge side there, so. So, yeah, at this point, I'll, I'll probably just watch, I'll probably just, like, watch more videos or something. Um, I might decide to download it and try it out, but if I do, it's gonna be something I'm gonna do completely on a whim. Okay, so, okay, clothing mandatory, all right. Much less creepy. Of course, that also assumes that the camera guy isn't gonna, like, linger too long at, like, all the hot babes or anything like that, then, yeah, I might have to fast-forward this a little bit. Take it another drink. kind of wish you would have filmed this on a sunny day not a cloudy one probably would have looked a little better oh that's what I was that's what I was want another thing I was wanting to say about persona um it also kind of reminds me of another game I got called uh, melty blood um actress again I think that's what it is um not a not a game that I'd want to play consistently, but I still have it. Um, I'll still come back to it once in a while. But it's a pretty good it's a pretty good game. Um, again, nothing nothing not enough to make me want to play it for hours on end. But it's still good enough to me. It's still good enough for me to want to fire it up again from time to time. But yeah, Persona Four kind of struck me as that kind of game. So ew vaping that girl back there. She had a vaping pen. <sighs> um, but, uh, but in any, but in any of these here, uh, they're, at least as of right now, they are definitely not replacing pinball. Um, it, again, unless, uh, unless I have a change of heart in the future, um, it looks like I will be streaming pinball here. So, I'm, at least until I start doing like consistently bad or something, or or I get totally burned out. So, um, for those that don't know, um, for, up until recently, I was only streaming pinball on Tuesdays. I had to keep it to once a week because when I was back when I was streaming it twice a week, I was getting too frustrated, too pissed off. Again, for for most of that time, I was playing with a wireless controller. Not a wired one, which again, there was that little bit of input lag. So I think that was probably a good source of my frustration. But again, these days, um, I have a good controller wire. It hasn't it hasn't failed on me or anything. And it just occurred to me that it was a little too loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. Okay, so but anyway, um, but yeah. Uh, pinball is pretty much here to stay. Again, unless I forgot, I forgot, I lost my train of thought. I think I'm, I'm still too busy watching the scenery. So, damn. But anyway. Short, 
short version. Um, until per until further notice, or I, I know what it's gonna say. Um, if I do take up any of the other games, it's gonna be totally on a whim. So. Um, otherwise, yeah, it looks like I was coming to the tail end of this anyway, so. Alrighty, well, um, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so, so, I guess now it's about as good a time to shut her down as any. Um, uh, but, hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning which will be my last one for the week. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.